Question 9a. Benzoyl chloride can be made from ethyl benzene in two steps process, as shown in the scheme below. So start from ethyl benzene to form this benzoyl chloride. Okay, the first step is involve the oxidation. The ethyl need to oxidize to the COOH. Okay, in order to oxidize this ethyl group, we need to use hot alkaline chemino 4 and followed by the acid solution because uh, it need to as undergo the this uh, acidification means uh, it need to be acidified after this first reaction so then it will form this uh, benzoic acid and this benzoic acid we can use it to prepare the benzoyl chloride Actually, the difference between the benzoyl chloride and this uh, benzoic acid is the OH and this C, Cl. So means we need to substitute this OH using the chlorine. So this OH need to substitute by chlorine. But we cannot really use chloride to do this because chloride is actually a weak, uh, weak base or a weak nucleophile so it will not substitute the OH in that way what we need to do is we need to use compounds we need to use PCl5 or PCl3 with heat or SOCl2 just use either one when we use this compound then we can substitute the OH with the Cl means it can form benzoyl chloride. Part 3. Identify the types of reaction in the step 1 and step 2. Okay, step 1 obviously is an oxidation, I told you already, right? Step 2 is uh, actually a substitution, right? So because uh, this OH is substituted by the chlorine and actually uh, it is the uh, nucleophile the nucleophile that gets substituted so you can say nucleophilic substitution so it's actually a substitution which involved nucleophile so what you need to put because this is the type of reaction this is not the name of mechanism please remember it's different thing type of reaction you have to mention Either it's like addition, substitution, oxidation, and so on, or condensation. When it's name of mechanism, then it's another story. Right? So for this reaction, obviously, for step two, obviously is a substitution which involves nucleophile. So we call nucleophilic substitution. If you want to know more uh, about the equations in step one, which is the oxidations of the ethyl benzene to the benzoic acid so you just need to give this means when we use oxidizing agent so it will oxidize, oxidize this ethyl group and it will form COOH and one of the carbon here will form CO2 and of course the hydrogens here will form combined with O to form H2O so means it's going to form two side products, CO2 and H2O, after the oxidation. Means the the some of the hydrogens and carbon will be oxidized to form CO2 H2O. Of course, at the same time, this ethyl benzene will form the benzoic acid. Total six oxygens needed. Two plus two plus two. For step two. This is the substitution reaction, as I told you. Let's say we use PCl5. So PCl5 will use two uh, chlorine, and one chlorine will react with the H form HCl. Another chlorine will use to bind with the acyl carbon to form this acyl chloride. So the PCl3 that remain will try to uh, combine with the oxygens here 
to form POCl3. So this is equations. Uh, if you want to know the equations and you wonder how to give the equation, uh, this is the equations that are involved. For part B, uh, this mechanism is the, if you want to name this mechanism uh, now, uh, this is the nucleophilic ad, uh, addition eliminations. Uh, so this is the name. Okay, why? Because it start with the nucleophile. In this uh, example, the phenol, this is a phenol, uh, the phenol will act as a nucleophile. And you have to draw two lone pair on oxygen. Actually, one lone pair is enough. So one of the lone pair will donate to the carbon, uh, the acyl carbon or the carbonium carbon. Okay. After that, it will form a new bond, the CO bond. Once the new bonds form, then all bonds must break. Means the, the pi bond in this uh, CO, this carbonium group or this uh, acyl group will break. So the electrons here will move to oxygen and it will form this oxide. Okay, and what you need to really add is the charge positive because oxygen here donates one lone pair to carbon. Now it's from three bondings. Okay, it's kind of electron deficient. So you put a charge positive here and you put a charge negative on the oxygen because uh, one of the lone pair means when the pi bonds break, when the pair of electrons move to oxygen, so this one will get, uh, will get the pair and it will be charged negative and you need to draw the lone pair here, the lone pair on the oxygens. Okay, after you, after you finish that, you need to draw a few uh, arrows. So you need to, okay, start from here. You need to draw one arrow from the lone pair, point to the CO bond. Okay, to show that the pi bonds reform. So when the pi bonds reform, one bonding need to break. So the bondings that break must be CCL bond because this, this bonding is weaker uh, and easy to break. So it, this one will break and it will release correct. And another step you need to do is you need to show the, or you need to draw one arrow from the OH bond here and point to oxygen to show that OH bond break and this pair of electrons will move to oxygen to restore the lone pair and this one will uh, remove or will release as H plus so the chloride and this H plus now combined to form HCl so after these pi bonds form and this, uh, this uh, CCL bond break okay, and this one lone pair restore, so it will form this, this compound. Okay, so this compound we call phenylbenzoate. Okay, this is the phenyl group and this is the, the benzoate. right? Okay, so this one is the instruction that uh, you need to do. Uh, the details I already uh, told you just now, right? You just follow. Name this mechanism. Uh, so it's a nucleophilic addition elimination. Now, this is the name of the mechanism. For the part C, uh, so we have three compounds now. Benzo chloride. Chlorobenzene, benzo chloride is this one. Chlorobenzene is this one. Chloroethane is this one. And differ, they are differ in the rates of hydrolysis when each compound is added separately to water at 25 degrees C. Suggest the relative uh, ease of the hydrolysis of these three compounds. Start with the hardest to hydrolyze. Okay, hardest to hydrolyze, of course, is the uh, chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene. Eh? Okay, why chlorobenzene uh, is the hardest to hydrolyze? Uh, it's because of the, the lone pair. So the lone pair on the chlorine will delocalize into the ring. 
and it will form double bond later. Means its resonance structure. So its resonance structures later it will form double bonds. And these double bonds it will strengthen the CCL bond. Therefore, it's harder for it to break. When it's hard to break, means it's hard to undergo hydrolysis. Uh, that's that's the 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 uh, the factors that uh, make this coral benzene uh, hard to hydrolyze. So what you need to explain is this. Just follow what I what I try to explain to you. Okay, in coral benzene, the lone pair on chlorine. Okay, this one lone pair on chlorine overlap with the pi electron system in benzene ring. Benzene ring, we know that okay, there is a, a pi electron system which has uh, uh, six pi electrons there. And this lone pair will join that pi electron system. Okay, of course, you need to undergo uh, overlaps, overlappings. And, and this overlaps or this, uh, this uh, delocalization uh, it uh, will strengthen the CCL bond because once it's delocalized, okay, it will form the CCL double bond. So you can say that it strengthens the CCL bond or it forms partial double bond character. Partial double bond character. Uh, that, that's, that's why coral benzene is hard to undergo hydrolysis because the bond is strong hard to break for the benzo chloride uh, why is the uh, the most reactive one or the the one that easiest to hydrolyze because we know that this uh, carbon this acyl carbon is actually bonded to two electronegative atom and this carbon is highly partial positive so therefore, this carbon, this acyl carbon, it's easier to attack by the nucleophile. In this case, it's water because it's hydrolysis. So it means water e uh, will be the uh, will attack this carbon, and it's faster. It's easier for water to attack this carbon because it's highly partial positive. That's why benzo chloride is the one that. Uh, easily undergo hydrolysis. Okay, so this is explanation. In benzo chloride, the acyl carbon is bonded to two electronegative atom, so which is the chlorine and the oxygen. And this one will make it highly partial positive. When it's highly partial positive, then it will easily react with the nucleophile. Uh, in this case, it's water. So the if you want to explain the the coral ethane, of course yes. So why the coral ethane? Actually, coral ethane is the the one uh, means the uh, is in between. So for the coral ethane, why is uh, uh, as compare uh, as compared to this uh, benzo correct? Okay. So uh, why is not easy to undergo hydrolysis? Okay, because we know that. In this coral ethane, it has the uh, this uh, alkyl group, alkyl group, and this alkyl group is uh, is electron donating, and it will strengthen the CCL bond, even though it's just a, a small alkyl group, so it will strengthen the CCL bond, and it's uh, hard to break, but it's not as uh, as uh, difficult as the coral benzene, right? So that, that's how you explain uh, on this uh, tree. Uh, of course, you need to uh, you always need to focus on the hardest to hydrolyze and the easiest to hydrolyze. If you can, you can uh, discuss about the coral eating. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.